Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey, fam, and thank you for coming back to the channel. We're going to be talking about Paula Abdul and her comings and goings with Kathy Hilton. Paris Hilton's mom and we're going to be talking about how she's faring on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills okay we have Paula Abdul says Kathy Hilton was quirky even before joining the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and then we get this commentary from B. Scott of above B. Scott .com. we like to cite our sources over here but we get right on into the story. And it says, Paula Abdul says, Kathy Hilton's quirky personality is the real deal. Nor, or not just a front for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, I'm sorry, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. The cameras. Be on page six. She's always been quirky. Or Kirk quirky. Even before Housewives. The pop legend, 60 years old, told page six exclusively that excuse me, at Thursday's premiere of Drag, the musical in Los Angeles. Years before Hilton, 63, joined the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills as a friend of the cast in 2021, Abdul fronted her own Bravo reality series, Hey Paula, that aired for one season in 2007. When asked if she and Hilton ever discussed their shared experience of being Bravo Letties or Bravo Liberties, Abdul Admitted, not at all. Still, the Grammy winner raved that the socialite who solidified herself as a fan favorite during her first season of Beverly Hills is a natural for reality TV. Presently, Hilton's feud with castmate Lisa Renner following an alleged cycle with psychotic break in Aspen is playing quite is playing out on the series. However, the former I want to be a Hilton host is relinquishing in support from her fans who can't understand why no one wanted to join her for a Congo line at the swanky members only caribou club the apparent catalyst for her outburst well you know some people just don't like to get in those Congo like lines and in a sense make a fool out of themselves dancing and singing when they can't really do either or okay that's just my analyst that's just how I viewed it. Going back, it said, Meanwhile, Abdul has appreciated Hilton's eccentric behavior throughout their decade-long friendships, especially on opening night of her Vegas uh, residency, Forever Your Girl, in October 2019. I'll tell you the funniest thing. It's opening night of my Vegas res residency, and she doesn't get the part that I'm starting uh, the show in the audience in the director's chair, Abdul said, recalling the intimate intro of her Sin City spectacle that concluded its run in January of 2020. And she comes behind me and she starts massaging my shoulders and starts talking to me. The singer uh, continued with the laugh. And in my head, I'm like, Kathy, I'm starting my show. Hilton would eventually join Abdul on stage two years later at Daughters Paris Hilton's November 11, 2021 wedding to Carter Reum, documented for Peacock's Paris and Love. Moments after the DJ played Abdul's number one hit, Straight Up, during the reception, Kathy and Paris 41 coerced the entertainer into coerced the entertainer into performing live for such notable guests as Kim Kardashian, Nicole Richie, Ashley Simpson, uh, Demi Lovato, and BB Rexa. Both Kathy and Paris pulled me up, and I was like, "Great! I have no idea I would be performing at night, but it was such." So much fun, she said. I'm glad they pulled me up. Abdul was among several celebrities who came out Thursday night to catch the inaugural performance of The Drag, or Drag, the musical. 
starring RuPaul's Drag Race alum Alexis or Alaska Thunder Oak Fire Island actor Nick Adams and new kid on the block crooner Joey McIntyre. Jeff Lewis, Chris Crawford, Courtney Stoden, Felix Solis, and DJ Shagella Pierce, among others, also attended the LGBTQIA plus production. For her part, Abdul told Page Six, she will always champion the queer community in any way possible. We have no doubt Kathy can be quirky, but we also believe that there's more to Kathy than what meets the eye or the reality TV cameras. So that's, I didn't know they were friends, y'all. Hmm. But she agrees with and condones uh, Kathy's behavior on uh, The Real House of Beverly Hills. Go figure that. Go figure that. But that's all I got of this particular story, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Please make sure you, when you're coming in the house, to view and sit down and talk about the subject at hand that we're reviewing on that particular video. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and share me out. Okay? Sharing is caring. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.